Use this defensive formation to optimize your block sheds and more turnover on downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Or, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, I was watching um, a video breakdown of real NFL games, um, and I, I stumbled onto something uh, with the 49ers, uh, and they talked about why the 49ers defense is so effective. Um, and they talked about the wide night defense that they like to run. And why it's a special defense is that it does get uh, those outside rushers for the 49ers, in particular Nick Bosa, one-on-one -on, -one on an island with the tackles. And because he's such a dominant pass rusher as a rookie, he's really causing some havoc. And it's flipped that defense into an elite defense in the league. So um, I want to talk about the wide nine, why it's, a, it's an underappreciated um defense in the game and if you sprinkle it into your scheme if you actually have the ability to go ahead and pick this uh, particular defense it might be a really good defense to go ahead and throw into uh, your third downs third and long situations because you're going to get those one-on-ones now ideally you want to have um, a, a defense that uh, has a good pass rusher so you want to think of a Khalil Mack um, a Cameron uh, think of uh, players on the Cowboys. Um, uh, any kind of a good edge, edge rusher is going to be the, the, the kind of players that you want to have. Um, I, when I think of the Saints, uh, Cameron is very dominant, obviously Cleo Mack. Uh, so uh, if you got a good uh, edge, ru edge rusher that's going to help you dramatically with this, Nick, uh, Nick Bosa is an, uh, an, actually uh, Joey Bosa is an, a, a, a phenomenal defense. So actually the Chargers in general, because you got Ingram on one side and Bosa on the other, and then actually go ahead and separate. Right. So this defense you can find I'm just showing you a nickel wide nine, but you've also have a 43 wide nine. Uh, you also have um, other types of wide nines, but you can find this in Seattle, uh, Seahawks, the, uh, the the 49ers, the Eagles, the Raiders, the Saints, Vikings, Chargers, Jaguars, Colts, Cowboys, Panthers, and uh, the Falcons. So pretty much any team that's got um, basically a 43 defensive set, you can go and jump into this. Now this is not the best play. It's not you know money the entire time, but it's a good play to go and jump into against your opponent. It if you want to provide a lot of coverage and basically go ahead and get block sheds where you can you can tackle them. So uh, once again, as I just stated, you can find the wide nine out of the 43. But uh, if we're in a passing situation, obviously you can go with the nickel version of it, which is the wide nine. And I looked at all different types of versions, uh, and the, the version I actually found that was very effective against the CPU uh, is going to be the cover two man uh, because you're going to get guys all over the place and you're going to get you're going to get those opportunities for those block sheds. So I'm going to just go with random uh, defensive sets here. I'm going to go ahead and, and basically uh, uh, take my, my defense and base align them. Uh, and then just going to go ahead and use her right over the middle here and just wait for the block sheds. Now, what's going to happen is a lot of times um, the, the block sheds are going to come through uh, and your, 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 your opponent is not going to have a lot of time to stop. So let's just go and take a look at this and it's a replay and why the wide nine defense is underappreciated and should be used a little bit more on Madden. So take a look at this. He actually has got six people blocking here. He's got the running back blocking. He's a play-action play. play. Uh, I didn't carry over. I think I moved away from, from his defender. But look what happens. This guy, uh, which is Ford, actually comes off his block. The running back doesn't do anything of it, and his def this defender comes rushing off. So it, with a man coverage type situation, you can double up everybody com uh, completely, not allowing him to get some plays off uh, and actually pick them off pretty easily. So line and press, play my man, and just let the defensive line do its job, beat those tackles, and get yourself a nice little completion. So I'm going to go ahead and play my guy. And right there, he actually throws in the coverage because they've got a defender right there. But let's take a look at what happened with the defensive line and see if that ball, that ball got rushed. So we're going to watch the defensive line right here. We're going to watch these tackles right here. You can see he's getting a block shed right now. 
the running back uh, uh, pass block in the inside is irrelevant. And I've also got uh, a block shed going on the back end side right here with this other tackle. So both of these guys actually got a free release. That forced the ball out. He probably could have hit this deep post route, but he would have been throwing right into uh, right into defenders, so that ball might actually come out in a bad direct trajectory. And right there, I'm probably going to get a pick six opportunity uh, right down to the end zone. Good defense to go and jump into in those third and long situations where you don't want to give up massive yards. Uh, simple man coverage, uh, not a lot of uh, not a lot of reads to do to do, uh, and it's going to force your opponent to get rid of the ball. So once again, my subscribers, I appreciate your support. Um, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So once again, thank you for your support, and until next time.